everyone, and welcome to Weather or Not, the Lightning Round, the game where we test the knowledge of our local meteorologists. I'm your host, Chris, a name without a face. Some may even say a voice from the clouds. So go grab your coffee and anemometers, because this is going to be a whirlwind of a game. Our contestants for this round will be Jim and Kayla, the faces of Meteotech Weather. Hey, guys. How's it going today? It's going. Doing great. I'm ready to beat Dad at another game. All right, let's start by setting some ground rules. First, I will be asking you a series of questions. Some may be easy, some may be hard. The first contestant to ring the bell gets to answer. <coughs> it's a buzzer, not a bell. <laughs> Alrighty then, the first contestant to ring the buzzer gets to answer. Time out. <coughs> it's a buzzer, not a buzzard. <laughs> <laughs> you said buzzard. <laughs> The first contestant to ring the buzzer gets to answer. If you get it wrong, the next contestant's gonna have a chance to answer. Each question will be worth one point. The contestant with the highest score at the end of 20 questions will be the winner. What do you win, you ask? Well, that's simple. Nothing! <laughs> but you do get the honor of gloating till your heart's content. Sounds good. What the heck are you? Is <laughs> All right, do you both understand the rules? Yes. Let's get started. Our first question is, what is it called when the air is so dry that precipitation evaporates before? It's Virga. You would be correct. She didn't even finish the question. That's one <laughs> point for Jim. All right, on to question number two. The process of a cloud droplet becoming large enough. Rain. Wrong. Darn it. <laughs> Can you finish the question? Please? I will finish the question for you. The process of a cloud droplet becoming large enough to fall out as rain is called which of these? Saturation, evaporation, coalescence, or incandescence? Coalescence. You would be correct, Jim. That was a cheap shot. That's I got the right part. For Jim. <laughs> question. Okay. Get those hands back. No! Moving on. I guess it doesn't matter if you're wrong. Which type of front moves the fastest on average? Gold front. Yeah! I got one! Wait, that was gold front! What does it matter if I am correct? <laughs> uh, moving on, number four. What criteria must be met for a snowstorm to rightfully be called a blizzard? Is it constant winds or gusts of 35 miles an hour or more, and visibility below one quarter of a mile with heavy snow and or blowing snow. And all of these must last for at least three hours. Or is it heavy snow, hurricane force winds, and visibility under one eighth of a mile, or constant snow for more than 12 hours? The first thing. You are absolutely correct. I feel like you're cheating. <laughs> Okay. Was your perception cloudy? Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. Question number five. Which of these scales measures the intensity of tornadoes? The enhanced Fujita scale. You'd be correct. Which surface absorbs the most sunlight? Snow, dry sand, grassy fields, or dense forest? Dense forest. That'd be correct. Stop laughing. <laughs> She's dying off camera. <laughs> what is a sudden heavy shower called? Would it be a cold front rain? A microburst? Stop, you're trying to get... <laughs> what are you doing? You're just hyperventilating. You're stressing me out. <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> Can you please reread read the question? I don't remember the question. Why don't you pause? Because he's stressing me out. <laughs> I feel like you really need this. What is a sudden heavy shower called? A cold front rain, a microburst, a gully washer, or a gust front? A gully washer. You are absolutely correct. I feel like all of those can be correct. That's just a, 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 a nickname for something that happens within any of the other three options. But it's a quick, sudden burst. 
I'm gonna be honest, up until this moment, I thought you made up that term. <laughs> I've just been using it in the video. <laughs> Moving on. All right, question number eight. What kind of fog forms when cold air blows against warm water or warm air blows against cold water? Would it be radiation fog, steam fog, advection fog? Advection fog. That would be wrong. Hmm. I say your answer is wrong. Steam fog. That's correct. I call that you're wrong. There is no appeal. I there appeal. is no appellate court here. I have a question. Of I my thought own. it was advection too, but. Have you see? Okay. Um, official note keeper, how many points do I have? One. How many points does he have? Seven. <laughs> Number nine. Which is the layer of the atmosphere where most weather doesn't occur? Well, the troposphere, I'm assuming the rest of the question says most of the weather does occur, so I'm going to say the troposphere. You are correct. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that to me! That's a mile like that would have been the question. I had to list the other five layers. Oh All in alphabetical gosh. order. I mean, basically. Just, just everybody laugh at Kayla. Number 10. When a cold front catches up to a warm front. Uh, I'm going to say it's an occluded front. I'm gonna give that one to you. <laughs> Number 11. Stationary fronts occur when a warm front slams into a cold front and their opposite momentums cause them to stop. The wind dies down enough to cause a front to lose its momentum. Yes. <laughs> the wind dies down enough to lose its momentum. Correct. The dots just connected. <laughs> I forgot I had to ring the buzzer. <laughs> We're over halfway done here. Don't do this. I'm curious as to what the, the score is so far. Don't do this. We have Jim at eight correct and Kayla at three correct. Hey, that's three more than I started with. Number 12. How much of the Earth's atmosphere is composed of oxygen? 21%. Turning. That would be correct. <laughs> that's incorrect. It's actually 20.9%. We round in the clouds. Oh, do we? Okay. Because clouds are... Round. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Question number 13. Which layer of the atmosphere is the coldest? The trophosphere, thermosphere, or the mesosphere? <laughs> no! The mesosphere. No! Her brain seems a little cloudy today. Alright, stop it with the weather buttons. <laughs> Moving on, number oh, 14. You laughing? <laughs> Which layer of the atmosphere transmits radio waves? Ionosphere? Ionosphere. Correct. Did you look at these before we said? You should. Mm -hmm. You're married to her. <laughs> I did not look at them. I have no idea what she's going to ask. Question number 15. The boundary or leading edge of an air mass is called what? A front. Correct. Didn't you just do something? Shh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Relatively Stop. recently about this? No. You guys will find out soon enough. Number 16. Which of these cloud types takes its name for the Latin word for heat or tumble? No! Cumulus. No! <laughs> Did you see it was right on top? She's starting oh. like... And I just... <laughs> I was ready, I was prepared, and you just kind of... Dive bomb on it. Ooh. Number 17. What does a salometer... <laughs> Kayla? The height of the clouds. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Joe, what's your answer? <laughs> I was gonna say the height of the base of the clouds. Well, you think it was gonna shoot through to measure the top of the cloud? Of course, it's gonna hit the bottom of the cloud. That's the. Don't take this from me. Give, I was give it to correct. her. Correct. Give it to her. So, watch that not be the question. <laughs> I'm just a cloud, so I really don't know exactly how it all works. The correct answer is the altitude 
of the cloud ceiling. You two find it out and determine which one of you won. That one. Give it to her. Yay! Oh, look at that fatherly love coming out. Stop it. Don't pity me. No, I don't want the point. I'll win on my own. How many questions? I can't win on my own. I'll take the point. <laughs> All right, number 18. The scale for measuring the force of wind is called... Pressure gradient force. Scale. You said scale, not force. Honestly, I wasn't listening. I'm really stressed. The scale for measuring the winds. Meters per second. Miles per hour. Kilometers. It's the Buford scale. Who? Or Beaufort scale. Some, some call it Buford, some call it Beaufort. Jim would be correct. <laughs> Question number 19. Which of these clouds commonly has the appearance of raked sand dunes with blue sky showing through at regular intervals? Kayla? I don't know if you hear me on this. Do you say that with confidence? <sighs> yeah. Correct. Yes! <laughs> and number 20. When the air temperature remains the same, and the amount of water vapor is increasing, the relative humidity <laughs> increases. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I have three extra questions. We're gonna do all three. <laughs> you happen to have ten extra questions? <laughs> so at the end of 20 questions, the score is Kayla 5, Jim 15. So we're going to do a three question bonus round, each worth five points. Are you guys up for the challenge? Up for the challenge. Why not lose by more? <laughs> <laughs> question number one. The typical cloud droplet is blank times smaller than a typical- 10 times smaller. Mm -hmm. 100 Would 100 be 10? No. You are in- my bad. 100 times smaller. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Bonus question number two. The majority of the United States lies within which wind belt? Westerlies? Easterlies? Westerlies. Correct. And our last question. Large, heavy snowflakes are associated with a blizzard. How do you do this? To Northwest yourself? flow snow. Large snowflakes are associated with a snowstorm. <laughs> that would that be correct. correct. Hey! So large, heavy snowflakes are associated with dry air and temperatures well below freezing, moist air and temperatures well below freezing. Dry air and temperatures near freezing. Moist air and temperatures near freezing. I don't know if you can see this, but my finger was also on it. Push down. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that little curl? Very good. <laughs> this is sad. With the final score of 25, our winner for this lightning round is... Jim! Yay! seemed excessive. <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate but, but, but it. But you congratulate me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. But just thank you for a well played game. Well played game. While they are congratulating each other, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Weather or Not. So there you have it, the pilot episode of Weather or Not. If you like what you saw, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. And where can they find us for all of our other weather adventures? You can go to Facebook, you can go to Instagram, and you can also go to our website, link down below. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy. Yeah, you can ask the next one. <laughs> <laughs>